do you think engineers and technologies need to study economic theories to become entrepreneurs hello everyone i'm dr nathan welcome to my youtube channel my channel name is dr nathan engineering and economy the primary objective of this channel is to provide the necessary skills and knowledge in the field of electrical engineering renewable energy technology and engineering economics after graduating only few engineers and technologies become entrepreneurs who create new product and services who start new companies and businesses and provide job opportunity to people all around the world we are all going through same kind of education studying similar scientific theories and uh, learning from same famous authors book and conducting same type of practical or experiments then what makes the difference i strongly believe that it is individual perception or a deep understanding about the real world application of the subject or this technology they are studying the real world application and human needs are closely connected with the study of economics the economic studies tells you about the economy of a particular country or the entire world how this economy is functioning what are the factors influencing the positively influencing factors and negatively influencing factor now you need to think that what kind of influence your product or service going to make to the economy in order to bring your pro innovative product or service to the economy you need to know some basic economic theories as a innovator or a startup company owner your primary objective is to make profit the secondary objective is to contribute to the society in order to make profit first and foremost thing that you need to know the cash flow of your company and you need to know the investment you are going to make there are, there are some basic parameters we used in the engineering economics to make decisions such as net present value internal rate of return and payback period now why i am talking about all these economic factors or parameters let me share my real experience uh, i'm i was hired by some of investors to analyze the possibility of installing a 50 kilowatt solar panels in sri lanka so i was very confident because i'm a, i'm an electrical engineer i know the design of solar panels i know about the inverters i know about the battery i know about the combiner box and uh, all the technical things going on around it what are the losses what are the efficiency factors but from the investor point of view they asked what is the profit we can make because you have to think that solar panel installation project is 25 years project because life span of all most of the solar panels are 25 years it means that your revenue going to come even in the year of 25 i mean up to 25 years still you're getting revenue so whatever you invest that has to balance with the revenue generated by every year actually it is every month even if you go deeper it is every hour solar panel is going to produce some kilowatt of kilowatt hour of energy that energy you're going to sell to the grid so grid owned by some electric companies that electric companies are regulated by governments so now the governments can change the uh, buying rate of uh, electricity so before investing you have to analyze how long this um, buying rate of electricity or you can export the electricity energy we call kilowatt hour to the grid and you can earn the money so how long this uh, policy is stable and you need to know the interest rate of the country because you need to know how much money value you going to lose i mean the value of $1000 this year and the value of 1000 same $1000 after 20 years or 25 years is totally different that we call net present value so when you deal with this kind of project like 20 25 years long project there are a lot of economic factors you are going to consider you're going to analyze all these economic factors and uh, uh, you're going to give a report 
to the investors that this is the problems, this is the difficulties, this is how much you can make the profit and uh, some more things in developed countries you have the tax credits and uh, uh, you can reduce the uh, tax because you are contributing to the society by um, um, making more green energy. So all sort of things are come into the study of economics. So um, as an electrical engineer you might think that uh, knowing the solar panels and configurations and parallel series um, designs and uh, the um, uh, material types um, mono and polysilicon and uh, thin film so all sort of things are fundamentals but you need to know a broad view of um, uh, I mean you need to know from the investors point of view or you need to think that you're going to start a company with uh, let's say twenty thousand dollars of in rupees uh, like um, ten million rupees you're going to start a company so what is your first thinking so that's why I I feel that engineering economics is important when you study the, the renewable energy technology because when it come to renewable energy technology there are many different make many decision makings come to part not only economics even the environmental concerns are there so all sort of things uh, I'm going to explain you one by one in this uh, lecture series and I will upload um, I believe my way of teaching is always um, always uh, more appropriate I mean like uh, I never write the equation and start my teaching I believe that writing the equation and start explaining is is not a, not a good idea. It means that we need to explain the problem in a in a real world situation in a broader view. If I want to teach about solar panels, I start the teaching by I'm going to invest twenty thousand dollars. Can you guess the size of the panel? Can you find the size of the panel? Can you find the location of the panel installation and so your thinking starts from that one single point that what is the investment only you have one data that is twenty thousand dollars rest of all are variables you are going to decide the location you're going to decide the size of the panel you're going to decide the material of the panel you're going to decide every other parameters all right um, let me give a introduction about myself I'm Dr. Sakti Bel Nathan and people in Australia call me as Nathan so uh, here in Australia I am known as Dr. Nathan I completed my first degree in Anna University in India in electrical and electronic engineering in 2010 and started working in Singapore in uh, semiconductor manufacturing sector about four years I worked there and then I moved to Sri Lanka and started working as a university lecturer about two to three years during the time I completed my uh, master of engineering management at University of Paradenia then I moved to Australia to pursue my PhD in electrical power system so my PhD research basically focuses on reliability evaluation of standalone microgrids so it is a design plus feasibility study uh, plus a little bit of economics analysis the cost benefit analysis and a uh, lot of mathematics involved uh, basically statistics and the probability to model the reliability of the microgrid in next 25 years because when it come when it when we deal with the renewable energy project it is uh, 25 years project so what will happen after 10 years what the climate temperature will change you know the climate change because of the so when the climate temperature change what is the uh, how much energy kilowatt hour energy we are going to produce whether the energy level the, the kilowatt hour energy is increased or reduced how its impact how is impact the is environment how its impact the investors and uh, how its impact the grid that is very important like the balancing the grid or managing the grid and a um, lot of management aspects as well as a lot of technical concerns how impact the voltage and frequency um, 
Uh, have you heard the duck curve about the solar PV? Because we are generating a lot of solar energy during the daytime, but we are not generating any solar energy during the nighttime. So we are in the need of installing more a number of or larger batteries. So all these are uh, discussions and understanding we'll do one by one. But uh, uh, yeah, this is my summary. So welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, currently I'm in Australia, but I will move back to Sri Lanka to become a senior lecturer in the same uh, university where I worked. So um, I would like to share my teachings and uh, knowledge and experiences with you. Uh, please subscribe my channel. I hope you convince the uh, need of uh, studying economy, uh, economic theories with the renewable energy technology and power system. All these are closely linked uh, subjects. I hope you convinced about or you understand or you mm, realize the, the different way of teaching uh, style I have. So with that, uh, I'm leaving now. See you soon in the next video. Thank you very much. Please subscribe my channel and provide your support. Thank you.